We're in Greenland and the main reason we're here is to collect samples of cave deposits. The Arctic is highly sensitive to climate change and we're going to use the samples to construct a record of past climate change for this region. The caves are deep within the Arctic Circle at 80.4 degrees north in the far northeast of the country. But today's climate is too cold and dry for caves and calcite deposits to form, so their presence tells us simply that it must have been warmer and wetter in the past. This is going to be the first record of its type from caves in Greenland. It should be older than the current limit of the Greenland ice cores, which extend back continuously 123,000 years. And with the results, we're hoping to be able to improve climate predictions for the future in a warmer world. We began the expedition by spending a couple of days preparing equipment to take up north. I say you could depict a more remote spot, really good try. Yeah. <laughs> That works. The journey up north was long and it was necessary for us to stop and refuel. watching the plane take off and disappear into the distance was such a symbolic moment. We really were on our own. That's a nicer place for London, isn't it? Yeah. That's that this, is the, this is the square bay as well, Jean. Look around. I'm a big hungry polar bear. <laughs> we spent one day crossing the lake, setting up base camp and sorting through equipment to try and make our bags a bit lighter. And then we set off on a long and arduous hike over several days across beautiful glacial valleys to get to the caves. So we're doing our shuttle runs, so Mark and Chris have now gone back to base camp and me and Robbie and Christoph are, well we're in Grotta Darlin now, um, we're just about to have some lunch, uh, dinner and then carry on the last bit and set up camp. Hello. Hi. Thank you very much. We've got a bit of a food dump kitchen going on then over there. Fruit and nut. Rub it. It doesn't really tie up clearly with those no. two. This, this blank thing is ugly. You made a good little donut. Well, we'll see. Does it go straight to the wall? Or does it come out of a cave? This is the first cave where we found samples in situ. So we'll probably take the stuff that's already broken off and then we're not damaging the cave in any way. So. This is on a bearing of 152. Not harness, Robbie. 
all the gear. So we found the remains of a bird frozen in the ice and we're going to take a couple of small samples for radiocarbon dating to find out how old it is and to get more information about the ice dynamics. We collected ice and sediment samples to get a better idea of the modern environment. This is 16A. Right, well we're attached to a massive block on one of the most unstable slopes. Are you ready? No. And it's a really old film, black and white film for a camera. And we were playing Guess the de Developed Before Date. It turns out it's December 1961. And then inside we found a note. And there it is. The original explorers of Grotterdalen. It's just really spectacular. It's really, we've... Uh, it's exceeded expectations in so many ways. We were completely amazed by what we achieved in just three days. The 24 hour sunlight really allowed us to maximise the work time. And in the end, we documented 26 caves and collected 16 calcite samples, four ice samples, two sediment samples, one bone and one feather. Finally, 104 kilometres. 26 kilograms later, we're back at base camp, and that is a welcome sight. Preliminary results look very promising. We already know that the samples predate the Greenland ice cores, and this could really be the start of something big. I cannot wait to go back and collect more samples.